Matter has many properties like Mars, charge, or spin. These properties only interact with their own kind. For example, Mars interacts with any other object having mass via a force called gravity. An object which does not have mass can fly by without getting affected at all. Similarly, charge is an inherent property of a matter which interacts with only matter having charge. The force via which this interaction takes place is called electrostatic. Unlike mass, charges are of two kinds, positive and negative. No, 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 you're getting me wrong. There's no moral connotation to it. There's no good or evil. It's called positive and negative, keeping in mind the direction of force acting on them. Unlike mass, which is only attractive in nature, charges can either be repulsive or attractive. Similar charges repel each other. Unlike charges attract. The time when charges were discovered, people were comfortable with the idea of an object exerting a force on another object by touching it. But without touching exerting a force on another object was something alien and they couldn't understand the idea. To explain the idea, they came up with the concept of fields. An electric field is an area of effect where if a charge is placed, it experiences a force. Electric field lines are a representation of electric. They are imaginary lines. Electric field lines never intersect each other and are always perpendicular to the surface from where they rise. Electric field lines give us two pieces of information. They tell us the direction of force acting on a positive charge which is indicated by the direction of arrows. They also tell us the strength of the electric field. The closer the lines are, the stronger the field. The further the lines are, the weaker the field. So, if you place a positive charge, it will experience a force in the direction of the arrow. But if you place a negative charge in the same field, it will experience a force in the opposite direction of the arrow. For a negative charge, field lines are shown with arrow pointing towards the charge. Electric field lines are shown to move from positive to negative. What you see here is the electric field line pattern between two opposite charges. Here is the electric field pattern between two similar charges. Because electric field lines never intersect each other, they are pushed away from each other, causing a region in between which is completely deprived from any field. Electric field lines between two parallel plates consist of field lines running parallel to each other except for the edges where some of the field lines curve around and meet.